Let's jump into this section by talking about diagnosing lightning. We can start with a few general reminders, and those would include that lightning normally involves higher voltages than surge and are typically more catastrophic in nature, but not always. It is also good to remember the ways lightning can enter a home or business and cause damages, and those include things that we've already covered, direct strikes, ground strikes, tree strikes, and those utility strikes. And as we mentioned earlier, direct strikes almost always are limited to equipment outside, and this photo is a good example of that, and this is the one we just saw in our little game. When we do have a direct strike to equipment, there should be visual evidence of the strike, and again, this photo clearly shows that dramatic representation. But what about this unit we are showing you now? This condenser has been moved to a technician shop, but was available for inspection. Sometimes we have to look closely for damages. Do you see it yet? What about now? I've added that helpful clue as to where to look. What are you seeing? Looks like that might be a screw holding down the fan grill. Or is it? Sometimes you have to get closer during your inspections. Here's a close-up. And in fact, this is a lightning strike. And notice it is only the size of a dime. That could have been easily missed. Don't be fooled, though. The size of the visual hit does not always represent the amount of other damages, especially if the current made its way into the electrical system. So what do you think happened with this small hit? There was enough energy for it to jump a clear space inside the unit and hit the reversing valve and a refrigerant distribution tube. I'm sorry for the blurry picture, but you can see the catastrophic damages, and it did have plenty of power to melt some of that valve and copper tubing, allowing the refrigerant to escape. But it did not stop there. Reversing valves are connected by low-voltage wires, and those wires allowed the lightning to make its way to other components in this unit and then into the home, causing damages to several household appliances and consumer electronics. So this does reinforce that even small visual strikes can cause multiple types of damages. As with that last example, when lightning does find its way into the indoor equipment, it generally will leave visual evidence of its path, and there are a couple ways it might present itself when that excess energy exits the system. This photo shows the exit in a form of arcing on this control board in two separate areas. But there is another visual cue of interior lightning damage, which has an even more unique signature, and that is ghosting. Notice this looks different, and the reason being is that the energy was not in the electrical system, but was traveling through this small metal conduit called electrical metallic tubing, or EMT. The energy was not in the wires, and they were not damaged. So what is going on in this photo? When the energy traveling through that EMT reached that 90 degree turn and that small gap between the conduit and that metal plate on the inside equipment, it tried to jump the gap and it ghosted out, leaving that very distinctive smoky pattern. So ghosting is something to be on the lookout for when diagnosing lightning damages. The last item to consider with lightning losses to HVAC equipment is that it would be common for multiple items to be damaged during the loss, usually just due to the amount of energy involved in, a, in most direct lightning losses. The other items commonly damaged would be transformers, control boards, contactors, and capacitors, and of course some wiring. And sometimes there is even a resulting fire causing even more damages as seen here. 